Hi guys, we're out in my garden because somebody, I apologise I've forgotten who it was, I'll have to look up the name, wanted a rubber band powered skateboard. Uh, there's all sorts of reasons for not doing it, but I've got this scrap bit of plywood here, so I'm going to cut out a skateboard shape and put some wheels on it and some rubber bands to power it. And that'll be the job done. I said there was lots of reasons for not doing a rubber band powered skateboard. One of the most obvious ones is you can't have the steering or the trucks or whatever you want to call them because you need to be able to connect a rubber band to the middle of the axle and you can't do that if you've got the uh, proper trucks on there. So I'm just going to put bits of wood with some what do we call these? Metal eyes for the axles to go through and that means I can rubber wrap a rubber band around the middle. So that's what we're going to have. These wheels came off a toy car because there's no point in trying to use CDs or anything because we want more or less scale sized wheels. So they need to be about this size. So I'll screw and glue this in place. Wheels in place. Get some rubber bands and try them out. I suppose it might be an idea to put a screw in here that we can hook the rubber bands onto so they don't touch the axle. 
test run time. But before we do the test run, I looked up the name of the person who'd asked for this rubber band powered skateboard, but I'm not going to attempt to pronounce it. Right. So I've got an extra screw on the bottom just to hold the rubber band. These are quite weak rubber bands, quite soft. So round the back axle and over itself so it holds itself in place. No idea what the grip will be like, so we'll give it a try like that. Got a little bit of wheel spin at the beginning there, which is what I would expect, because with such small wheels you're not going to get much grip, even those ones which are rubber. But we still did about uh, let's have a look. Yeah, three meters. So, not too bad. I'll give it another try, just see if we can get all the way along the kitchen. This time I've added some washers as spacers to keep the wheels away from the wooden um, bit in the middle. So we should get less friction. Yeah, that seemed better. I'll wind it up this time. I've wound it up a little bit tighter this time. So we'll see if we can get the length of the kitchen. Success. So there we go. 5 meters with my rubber band powered skateboard.